It has been a while. How do I even, how does this work again? I've forgotten this whole dynamic, but guys, I can speak. I can speak again. Um, if you haven't seen what happened, I had an operation on my vocal cords early January and haven't been able to really speak or at least get back to making videos since then. And so the channel has been taken over by a bunch of friends, fellow YouTubers, a fan even did a video on the channel. It has been the most surreal, like weird period uh, that I've been through in a while, but I'm happy now to be able to get back to making videos. And this is the first video back on the channel. It really feels, it really feels odd. First things first, I just received a lot of messages on, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, on TikTok, on, on wherever, um, just yeah, supporting through, through this kind of weird period. As I said, when I um, first spoke about having the operation, you know, everyone has their own issues, everyone goes through things. You know, it wasn't anything that was in any way life-threatening or anything like that. So I was extremely lucky and it's over and dealt with now and I can get back to talking little by little. But it's no fun coming back to a video and just sitting in a studio, is it? All I want to do is go just have a good time in cars with you again. So let's go for a little drive. This is going to be so much easier. I can only speak at a pretty uh, low level and I have to remain pretty calm is what the doctors have told me. I can now speak a certain amount of hours a day. It wasn't 100% recommended to start doing videos again. I need to basically, if I film, apparently I push on my voice a little bit more. So it's not ideal to keep filming. So I need to film in like a couple minute chunks and then take a little break on my voice. But I, I couldn't wait any longer. I've missed making these videos so much. I've missed this, the interaction with you guys, just knowing that I'm speaking to the camera now and you guys are gonna see this and we're gonna be able to chat in the comments later. Uh, I've, I've really missed it. And it's been, I mean, literally since the beginning of the year, now I've been in Geneva obviously now we're back here uh, we're just above Monaco right now I've spent the whole first half of my year in Geneva a bunch of silent time and yeah so that's basically all the boring update out of the way it just had to be done but for the next few videos I'm obviously going to be keeping a pretty low level I'm going to try and be careful with my vocal cords however I have a lot to update you on to be honest I don't really know where to start I don't know what the title of this video is going to be what the thumbnail is or what you already know what you don't but Let's start with the first things. You maybe saw a video a little while ago about my Audi R8 that I sent back up to London and that car has since been sold. Dean at DMV Collection sold my car. Actually, there's a photo of the new owner of the car. It was completely deramped, no longer my license plate on it. And he actually added sports seats to it, which is an option that I kind of always wanted to do. I never got to doing. But the Audi R8 V10 Plus manual, uh, one of the last great I mean, manual V10s, if not the last, or there's a Dodge Viper. But anyways, one of the last of that type uh, is now gone. I love that car. I had it for a year. I put many miles on it. It was an amazing car to have, but it has since been sold. So this is a, basically going to be a whole garage update. The Ferrari, which is here, this is staying. You'll make more sense afterwards, but for now, this is staying. Um, I love this car so much. And yeah, it's just like, it's, it was so emotional picking this car up. And for now, at least maybe at some point this year it might go, but for now, 
uh, I'm going to keep it in the garage. But the big news, which I know a few of you are going to be disappointed about, is my Ford GT. So I had a Ford GT allocation, which was going to arrive later this year or early next year. During this period when I was off, you know, I had a lot of time to do a lot of thinking. And despite loving that car, really, really, really wanting it, I just thought it, it, it wasn't wise to go forward with it. So I ended up canceling my allocation. My allocation is going to go to someone else. I didn't sell it on. I just gave it back to, to Ford. So yeah, it didn't cost me anything in the end to have that allocation. But yeah, it was just, it didn't seem like the wisest idea for a few reasons. One, because of the current pandemic situation, uh, just the economy in general is a little bit on edge. And, you know, I think everyone's been affected in their own way. You know, I consider myself very fortunate and I am no position to complain at all about the pandemic. But it has definitely had an effect. You know, this was going to be over 700,000 euros, this car. So, you know, huge, huge, huge commitment. And it just didn't feel wise. And as I say, we were, a little, you know, I was a little bit affected, whether it be on YouTube or in other businesses by the pandemic. So it didn't seem wise. And also when I first put the order in for the car, they were selling for 1.2, 1.3 million off market. So I was thinking, okay, I'll get the car. I'll use it for a few years. You know, hopefully I'll never have to sell it. But if ever I do, at least I know, you know, the car isn't going to sell for under list price and then since they've been coming down because Ford rightly so uh, wanted to you know produce as many as they felt like producing and you know they didn't want people to be flipping the cars or be only thinking about the financials around it and I completely agree with them for that but the result of that is that the market value of the Ford GT has been dropping also due to COVID so you know at first it being a pretty safe place to put your money you know I wasn't in it to make money I was just in it not to lose money and have an awesome car it's now become a little bit more risky and so the combination of you know COVID affecting me personally it affecting the car market it affecting the economy in general and the Ford GTs are being produced in higher numbers than we thought, uh, not being allocated a heritage edition because that does affect things. Different things like that just meant that I decided to cancel my allocation. I hope you guys understand. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's a personal decision. Glad, you know, we got to at least experience some of the first steps of having an allocation of a car of that type and you enjoyed kind of going through that with me. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm hugely disappointed about it, but it just feels like the wisest thing to do at this point right that's all the sad news taken care of so having that time to think like being you know two months basically uh, in Geneva not really being able to talk yeah, just made me realize that it was maybe time to be a little bit more responsible that it was such a luxury you know I really 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 wanted that car but there's no need for it however that being said we're not going to leave this video only on a negative note because the Ford GT leaving has obviously meant that there was a little bit of leeway to maybe get something else. So I have bought another car. So guys, we're going to put a little teaser at the end of this of what my new car could be and comment down below if you think you know what it is. It's also going to be the day and the release time of the video. We're still editing, so I'm not entirely sure, but it'll be up as soon as possible and we should put it at the end of this video. But yeah, anyways, comment down below if you know which car it is, if you think you know which car it is. And anyways, I'm so, 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 so excited to be back. Honestly, it feels it just feels so good it's like a weight off my shoulders now being able to be back on youtube but you know subscribe hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you in a couple days for the reveal of my new car